What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we continue the gauntlet series for the Airfun Air Pro 3s. Let me get my hand out the way. There we go. All right, their opponent in this one is the Soundcore Liberty 4s. So this should be a great head-to-head. -head. I'm very interested to see how this one pans out. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we are back in. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let's talk price and specs. We'll start off with the Liberty 4s. They come in at $149. You may be able to get these on uh, with a discount um, sometime, uh, sometime now, probably now, sometime down the road. Uh, very for affordable. You can get these on uh, Soundcord's website as well as Amazon. And as always, I'll leave links in the description uh, where you can take advantage of the pricing of these two. Moving on, it rocks Bluetooth 5.3. And it supports, excuse me, it supports Kodak's AAC, SBC, and LDAC. So you do get that high, that high res audio. As far as noise canceling, it does have an adaptive uh, ANC system powered through their Hear ID uh, program within the app. And then, of course, when we talk about battery life, the earbuds you can get up to nine hours. When you include the case, you can get up to 28 hours. The case does support wireless charging. And of course, it has quick charge, 15 minutes will get you three hours of playback time. As far as uh, water resistance, they are rated IPX4. So you can have these at the gym or get caught in the rain, no problems. And when we talk about uh, special features, you have a heart rate sensor within the earbuds themselves, which is very good. These are more geared toward uh, uh, working out in it every anyway. You got the 360, 360 degree spatial audio feature. Uh, we can do a, a motion track, you know, head motion, you know, track your head, as well as like stationary, which is really cool. I've used it several times and I like it, especially when I'm watching movies. And of course, you've got a multi point connection, uh, connectivity rather. Uh, with these earbuds okay now moving on over to the airfun air pro threes these guys come in at 99 bucks you can get them as low as 79 right now uh, i don't know how long that's going to last but uh but i'll take advantage of it if you can all right the earbuds they come in support with bluetooth 5.3 also and as far as codec support you get aac sbc aptx adaptive and lc3 so you got a lot of uh high res audio there uh to you know to so to take advantage of excuse me all right as far as battery life the earbuds you can get up to seven hours with noise canceling turned on eight or excuse me nine hours with noise canceling turned off now what the case you can get up when you add the case rather you get up to 45 hours of playback time the case does support wireless charging and quick charge, 10 minutes will get you two hours of playback time. As far as water resistance, the earbuds are rated at IPX5. So again, you can go take these to the gym. Uh, you can get caught in the rain, not a problem at all. As far as special features, the earbuds do offer a low latency mode. However, it does, um, the connection is a bit choppy on that one, but, the, but they do offer that feature as well as uh, multi-point connectivity, and both are obviously, both earbuds obviously are app supported, all right? So both earbuds packed with good features, good playback time, let's continue. All right, let's go ahead and pull one of each of these out and let's take a look at them. They both have similar stem style uh, design, form factors, designs rather. Let's go ahead and take a look at them side by side. As you can see, similar builds. Uh, they both rock a uh, a two tone uh, appearance here. I like the uh, matte black or the matte gray rather on the uh, earphones uh, with the uh, I guess you can call that bronze uh, with the the branding and of course the brown circling detail around the touchpad very nice i like that in contrast uh let's go ahead and quickly flip over to the uh liberty fours as you can see all gloss all day but still a nice look to it i like the uh the gray branding 
as you can see here, very nicely detailed. Got your Soundcore branding and the uh, Soundcore logo at the top. These guys have the squeeze technology, so you don't have the uh, touchpad, but very nicely done. Gloss all the way around, nice and ergonomic feel to them. Very light in the air. I like that. All right, so let's go ahead and take, again, let's focus back on the ear funds. All right, so again, I like the two-tone brand. You got the matte with the gloss combination. That contrast really looks good. And of course, you got the branding. Again, similar, like I said, similar builds almost. You've got the, the rounded ergonomic tip that sits inside the, or in, it sits inside the uh, ear well and gives you that good secure fit. Another very light earbud in the hand. I don't even, can't even tell which one is lighter. If I had to choose, I don't know. I think I would go with the ear funds a little bit lighter, but not by much. Um, all right, let's go ahead and put these in. Let me grab my phone and we're going to take a look at them in the ear. All right, here we go. We will start off with the Liberty fours. As you can see, let me blow it up a little bit bigger so you guys can see more. As you can see, it doesn't take up a lot of the ear well, but it does give you that nice secure fit. The uh, stem or the boom for the mic is not as long, barely, you know, just gets past the ear. Uh, so it very, very comfortable, very low profile. Uh, that's one thing I like about uh, stem style earbuds is when they're low profile like this, uh, definitely gets the thumbs up for me. All right. And then again, nice and comfortable in the ear. I don't have any ear fatigue for long-term use, no pressure in the ear canals, in ear canals for uh, wearing these guys for long-term. Um, so the engineering is doing very well as far as distributing the weight uh, with these earbuds. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the ear funds. All right, here we go with the ear funds. Again, doesn't take up a lot of the ear well, but you do get uh, again, uh, a little longer stem than the, uh, Liberty fours, but again, another low profile earbud, uh, just really like the way they feel in the air. Very comfortable. Again, no pressure, uh, in the air canal, no, uh, air fatigue. We're long-term wear. So very, very comfortable in the air. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and, uh, get these paired up. We're going to dive into their apps and see what they got. We're going to start off with the Liberty fours. Stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. We got the Liberty fours paired up in the, and we got the app on. Get ready to say in the air, <laughs> jumping ahead of myself. We got the app up. Let's go ahead and dive in. As you can see, you got a picture of the earbuds here with the name battery levels for both left and right earbud, as well as the charging case underneath. Moving down, you've got here on the main page, you've got your ambient sound where you got your noise canceling. And if you tap on that, as you can see, you get options. You tap on it, you can go ahead and turn your dial to however you want. Moderate, keep going, weak. I have mine as strong. Then you can also have it as for, you can select adaptive mode or manual mode. I choose manual mode because I want mine on all the time regardless. Okay, then of course, you got your transparency mode and here you can go ahead and choose whether you want fully transparent or vocal mode where you're focusing on the person's voice who's talking to you. I like my truly tra fully transparent. I want to hear everything when I'm using it. All right. So then moving on, you got your sound effects, which is uh, your note, your sound controls. We go in here real quick. You got LDAC for high res. Of course, that will turn off your multi-point functionality, so you can't use multi-point and LDAC at the same time. All right, then of course, you got your spatial audio. You got in there, you have fixed, where it's just in one area. And then of course, you've got uh, head tracking, so if you move your head left and right, the uh, audio follows you. Okay, my wife is tripping. All right, and then you've got different types of modes for spatial audio. You got your music mode and, and movie mode. I have mine set to movie mode. Uh, that way when I'm watching my audio, my videos and everything streaming, streaming stuff, it comes through and it sounds fantastic. All right. Then of course you got your hear ID and then you have your default 
you know, here are the in here. Let's go ahead and tap on that. This is something you set up yourself. Uh, you run it, you run a series of tests and they configure uh, the specific hearing level, hearing level for you. And of course you can do advanced settings within here. You know, you can go add initial curve, custom here ID, and then of course your favorite music genre where you can jump in and take a look at other uh, presets that are that e that they have. All right. As you can see here, you've got your default uh, setting. You go in there and double tap on that. Again, you've got a bunch of uh, default uh, presets you can choose select from. Um, well, that's one thing Soundcore was good for is they have a bunch of EQ settings or presets that you can choose from. Then of course, you can go ahead and jump in and create your own with the uh, customized e custom EQ. You can create your own settings and everything like that. Of course, you can see this is my preferred setting with the earbuds. Uh, but like I said, Soundcore is legendary for having uh, so many options in there. All right, moving on, you've got your uh, controls. You tap on that. Now you can set controls for the left and right earbud. And as you can see, single press, double press, triple press options are available to you. So you can go ahead and set it for both the left and right earbud, which I like a lot. I like that to be able to, you know, do those uh, squeeze, uh, those set those up for multiple options there. I like that. All right. Then, of course, you got the Soundcore Wellness. This is new uh, for the Soundcore app. You can go in and, of course, you can go and, you know, track your exercise movements, your duration, calorie, your duration, your calories. You start an exercise, of course, with the earbuds in. You can test your heart rate, stress levels. And of course, your posture, uh, it would let you know, like if you're slouched over too long, it would tell you, you might want to lift your neck up uh, to straighten your posture and everything like that, which is very, very useful for all those fitness nuts and people just want to stay in shape. All right. Again, let's go ahead and keep going. We've got a little gear up here at the top. And here it gives you more settings where you can turn on, you got wind noise reduction. You can toggle off and on. You got your fit test and ear, in ear detection. Always have that turned on uh, as far as the in-air detection is. Always turn it on and have it set to autoplay pause. And then, of course, you got your dual connection here. I have to always turn that on. Now, mind you, if you're using an LDAC, this option is not available. It will automatically be turned off and grayed out until you turn off the LDAC feature as far as for your uh, audio. All right. Again, of course, then. Once you have in and you have you have a list of all the uh, of all the uh, devices you have them paired to, and you can switch them in between there. All right, you can turn them off, and you can do it just one, and then you can turn this one. You, you got all you got all the options in the world. Then, all right, then of course you got your prompt tone. I have mine. You know when I'm wearing it, you hear prompts in the earbuds. Say like a uh, uh, net you text messages or anything like that. You get those messages in ear. Auto power off. I have mine set for uh, 30 minutes. You can go as low as 10 minutes and as high as never turn off. Um, but I use mine for 30 minutes. It helps with saving battery. Then, of course, you've got about your firmware update and user manual options there. And, of course, that is just about it uh, for the Soundcore app for the Liberty 4s. What we're going to do next is... I'm getting all the, I'm getting blown up here. What, what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and get the air funds paired up and we're going to dive into their app. Stay strapped in. All right, we are back in. We got the air funds all paired up and we got the app up and running. Let's go ahead and dive straight in. All right, you got the, here on the main page here, you got the name of the earbuds. You've got the battery level for the left and right earbud as well as the case. I don't know if I'd say zero, doesn't know the percentage. I guess I might have to close it but I digress. All right. So then of course, and you got the option for connected. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right. Again, you've got the, the name of the earbuds, their battery levels for the, for each of them. All right. Picture of the, of the earbuds. Then you net, you have your noise canceling, ambient mode and normal options here. There are no levels to it. So we just leave it on noise canceling. They do offer a uh, gaming mode. However, uh, 
the connection is kind of choppy at the moment when using it. So I just have it turned off or else I would be using it uh, for like audio, for watching videos and stuff. Of course, you have your equalizer. Let's go ahead and jump in there. All right, so now you got your equalizer settings here where you can go ahead and I got my personal one set up. You do have extra presets here. You know, play, you know, bass boost, treble boost, <laughs> bass reducer, treble boost, treble reducer. I'm all over the map. All right, and of course, you can um, create your own and save them. Uh, with this app, because of my phone, I might have to go ahead and span this out across both screens so you can see where you can go ahead and say create your own EQ setting and save it. Now, this won't happen on most uh, uh, candy bar style uh, phones because it's they have a record, they'll recognize the screen as this. They recognize the mine as a tablet. This is why I have to do it like this. But you can also save and create your own uh, your own uh, customized EQ setting. All right. So and then of course up here you can reset uh, and go back to zero whenever you want to. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, continue on here. All right. So then of course you got your product tutorials here, where it will take you out to the website and give you the PDF of the manual. And then of course, uh, you got your gear up here. So you tap on that, you can go in here, you can change the device name. They give you on how to wear the earbuds, the product tutorial. You got your frequently asked questions that not worry your knowledge database. The mode switch mode switching. This is for your, uh, noise canceling. You can tell which one you want to use similar to the main screen. And of course you got your gaming mode, just like on the main screen. And of course your, your equalizer settings custom controls, you tap on that, you can go in, you can do single tap, double tap, triple tap, long press. You can configure both. You can configure all those for both the left and right ear, but I really like how they got that, um, gives you that option there. All right. Then of course you can reset them back to default here. All right. And then of course you can go down, you got your firmware update, your firmware version. You can go ahead and check and make sure you, your earbuds are up to date. Apparently mine are because there wasn't one in there. Then of course you got your factory reset option there. And of course you can delete the current device uh, here if you wish to. All right. So that in itself is the quick and easy, uh, quick walkthrough of the uh, Airfront app, Airfront audio app for the Airfront Air Pro 3s. Very quick, very uh, uh, detailed, gives you what you need, what you want without all the extra uh, bloat and stuff. Some things I wish it still had, wish it added, uh, but I really want them to do an update to get that gaming mode squared away. All right, other than that, a very, very nice, simple app. All right, so now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and do a mic test, and then we're gonna come back with the sound test. So stay strapped in. This is a mic test with the Soundcore Liberty 4s in a semi-quiet location. This is a mic test with the Soundcore Liberty 4s in a semi-quiet location. This is a mic test with the Soundcore Liberty 4s in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Soundcore Liberty 4s in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Airfun Air Pro 3s in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Airfun Air Pro 3s in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Airfront Air Pro 3s in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Airfront Air Pro 3s in a crowded location. All right, we're back in. We got the Liberty 4s paired up and in the ears. We are in the app. As you can see, let's go ahead and dive into the settings. Actually, let me back up one. We're in noise cancel. We got that turned on. We're in the settings. Let's go ahead and drop into the EQ. We're going to put it on test to start out. Zero out everything, see how they sound naturally. Let's go ahead and make sure we had our, our preferred volume setting. I like it right there. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the second screen. And whoops. Let's go ahead and jump into some music. Now, first off, we're gonna start with we're gonna start off with our uh our first song, which is 
Uh, you know what? We will go ahead with uh, old money. Um, shout out to my man. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing <laughs> his name. At his name escapes me at the moment. But shout out to you know who you are who introduced me to this song. And so let's go ahead and uh, jump into this one. Already got nice overall volume. Good, good, clear vocals. Okay. Now you've got background instrument. It looks like it's a piano. Not as clear. But good. Okay. Let's get to. All right, now we got more of the uh, background music. More instruments, it's widening out. Let's go ahead and add my uh, settings to it. Okay, got louder. The uh, sound stage got a little bit wider. Very nice. Uh, but the vocals aren't as crisp as I would hope they would be, but still good. Okay. And that's on my settings. We go back to test. Still not as clear. Good, but not as clear. All right. All right, let's go ahead and switch up songs here. We're going to go to something with a little kick to it. Uh, let's see. Let's go in. Let's go kill us all by uh, Twister. No, actually, yeah, we'll do that one. Nice deep bass. Okay. Vocals are, are, are okay. Volume is nice and nice volume. All right, that sub bass rumble underneath, I like it. All right, now let's go ahead and add my settings. Okay, you still got that heavy... Uh, uh, under sub bass is just that nice steady rumble underneath. Vocals are okay, are good. It could be better, but I can't understand everything he's saying. And it's just just a nice sound. The bass is real nice. Punches when it needs to. That rumbles there when it has to be. Very nice. Okay, very nice. It was. Oh, I like that. I just like that. That was nice. All right, let me go ahead and zero that back out. We're going to go into, uh, let's go ahead to home, going home. You know how we do. Again, nice sub bass rumble. Even though, you know, this is with the keyboard. You got the, the drums. Nice, nice sound stage. All right, vote. Lead saxophone comes in. Nice. Sounds clean. Not as sharp. Let me go ahead and put my settings in. Okay, it got brighter, a little louder. The sound, the sound stage got a little wider. And the this this lead saxophone is a little sharper. That high note, definitely. Man, that's just a good song. That high note wasn't as sharp as it as I would expect it, especially in these were my settings. So obviously, I'm gonna have to do some tweaking. But it was good. It was it was a good sound. Uh, naturally loud. Uh, you got really good volume naturally out of these. Uh, just it just for some reason. Just wasn't as sharp as I would hope they would be in any of the three songs, to be honest with you. But really good sound. Definitely um, a pair to be reckoned with uh, in my collection. I do listen to these. I do. They're in my heavy in my rotation as well. But they just, this just right now, if I'm just nitpicking, I would have to say the uh, vocals weren't as clear, wasn't as clean as clear 
although I could hear everything they're saying, it wasn't just wasn't the clear vocals. And then that lead saxophone wasn't as sharp as I would like it, even when I from when I had it zeroed out and as opposed to using my uh, settings, it's, it got better, but it still wasn't as sharp as I was hope as I hoped rather. All right. So what we're going to do, we'll go ahead and get this cleaned up and then we're going to have the uh, air funds paired up and we'll go through the sound test with them. Stay strapped in. All right, we are back in. We got the Air Fun Air Three Air Pro Threes paired up and in the ears. Let's go ahead. We got the app up. Let's go ahead and jump into the equalizer. We're gonna go ahead and put it on test to start out. All right, so we're zeroed out. We make sure we are at our preferred level here. So let's go ahead and we got old money. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, nice la nice volume. Okay, vocals seem vocals are nice and clear. All right, let's go ahead and get a little bit more in. We got the piano. We're gonna add some more uh, instruments. All right, now we got that slight rumble, very nice. More background instruments, the sound stage is widening. So let's go ahead and add my sounds, my my uh, settings now. Okay, again, got much louder, but still the vocals are still clear. And the surround, the uh, background instruments much brighter. Very nice. Very nice. Just a clean, just a nice wide sound stage. Uh, it just everything is just nice and just sound really good. Uh, when I put my settings in, it improved. It got brighter. The sound stage uh, got brighter. The background instruments got a you know move you know got more uh, bolder. It was just a nice overall sound. It was just nice, especially when I added my settings to it. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, zero those out. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into uh, Kill Those All by Twister. Let's go. All right, again, nice volume. Bass is hitting. Very nice. All right. Let's get that drop. There we go. Woo. Okay. That drop hit. Now you got that rumble, a steady rumble. Let's go ahead and add my settings. Okay. Now you're getting a, that steady sub bass rumble and you got the hit from the kick drum or the 808 rather, but it's nothing's overpowering anything. Vocals are still crystal clear. But it just sounds really good. All right, so you got a good balance there. Uh, even though it, it, it got louder, it got brighter, uh, that bass drop, when it hit, and it gave you that sub bass rumble underneath, and you still had that hit from the uh, 808. Oh, it was just, from what I think is 808. It might be a kick drum. It might be something. But for me, it sounded like an 808 hit. But it just, you just had that subtle rumble and then just boom, boom. That's great. It was nice. But, and then of course, everything, nothing was flooded out. Like the, the vocals weren't uh, washed out um, to the detriment. You know, the, the bass wasn't pumping to the detriment of the bass, of the vocals. That's what I meant to say. Um, so everything was like even kill. Everything was on the same level. And you got a really good sound out of that. And oh, uh, just just really good. All right, let's go ahead and zero that out. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into going home. Let's go. Again, nice, clean. That sub, that rumble is there. Nice. All right, lead saxophone. Nice and clean. Got good sharpness. I like the uh, 
those the back the background instruments they're right on par they're nothing's nothing's being drowned out i like it let's go ahead and add my settings all right now everything of course got brighter i said i okay that high note i look for very sharp Just a nice, real sharp sound. All right, I could listen. To this, this, this is a great sound. Um, oh man, this is going to be a tough one. Uh, but just back to the Air Pro, Air Pro threes. Very, uh, the very good sound. When I added my settings to it, it got better. Uh. The lead saxophone got uh was more sharp. Um it got sharper with the changing of my settings. It was already nice and sharp in when it was zeroed out, but they got they improved. The sound stage got louder. Uh but again, nothing nothing fell to the background because of the the increased volume. All right. Uh that's what I like to hear. I like to hear even when my settings go up and some and the volume is increased because of the treble in the mids, nothing falls to the back or nothing uh, falls to the uh, background uh, to the you know because of it. I like to see that. So again, great set, just a really good sound. I, I'm I'm thoroughly impressed. So what we want to do now is we'll go ahead and get this all paired, all cleaned up, and I'll come back with my final thoughts in this uh, gauntlet challenge. So. Stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. Gauntlet series for the Air Airfun Air Pro 3s. Their next opponent, this opponent here, the Soundcore Liberty 4s. And I have to say, this was everything I thought it would be in the matchup. The Liberty 4s had great, had really good sound. Their sound stage was fantastic. Uh, when I added my, uh, when I added my settings, it, it, and it, enhanced everything uh however the only downside i would have to give these guys is the vocal clarity um when it came to uh you know artists singing and everything on them it wasn't as clear as, as crisp as clean and clear as i would hope they would be but you 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 still were able to understand what they were saying. It wasn't sound like it wasn't like it was muffled or anything of that nature. I don't want to want to think that I'm saying that, but they just wasn't as clear as I would hope in comparison to the background music, um, the background sound and everything else that came out of it, out of the earbuds. Uh, especially when I, when I, and even when I added my settings to them, uh, it, they, they got a lot, a little brighter, Volume got brighter, but still, uh, the vocals didn't um, be, get become more clear or more, you know, more cleaner. Um, so that would be the only downside I will have to say uh, with the Liberty Fords. They have tremendous volume. Their volume, their natural volume matches the Air Fun, the Air Pro Threes. I have to admit, I have to be completely honest about that. That volume. Uh, is is phenomenal on these guys. The natural volume, these guys get uh, plenty loud. Uh, I very impressed with them. But uh, that like that that one side that one slight flaw uh, in the uh, vocals is what's going to put the the Air Pro threes over the top in this one. Now again, great sound, nice loud natural volume. Uh, and the vocals were just a little bit more cleaner, more, more clearer than on the Liberty Force. Other than that, man, we have a dead heat here. Um, so, but with that, that slim of margins, the air, the uh, Air Pro Threes will win uh, this gauntlet matchup. All right. So, with that being said, the winner, the Air Pro Threes by Air Fun. But do not sleep on the Liberty Fours because these guys do pack a wallop and they are feature packed as well. All right. Again, this has been, uh, I guess this which one is this is number two of the gaunt, uh, uh, episode two of the Gauntlet series for the Air Fun Air Pro Threes. 
If you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to join me on this journey as I continue to run through the Gauntlet series with the air funds, uh, as well as I got a Gauntlet series going on. Also, with the status pro, status between three A and C's, you want to be in part of that. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell when so you can be notified when either of these videos or both of these videos are dropped. Not to mention other videos that I may I have like the ANC challenges, unboxings, uh head to heads, customer or a subscriber requested of uh, or suggested videos, and on and on. All right. Again, I like thank you guys for coming out, and I'll see you on the next one. AirPro. Air Pro 3s are not, it's not, uh, no slouch, but they barely squeak by the Liberty 4s. Talk to you in the next one. Peace.